Hello, my name is Mike I the Mighty and thanks for watching my video. Today I wanted to show you a video whereby I explain how you best utilize alternate accounts. Uh, one of the reasons why I did this, I had a lot of comments actually, uh, many from people in game asking me, you know, how do I best work and use an alternate account? Do I do it on the same like server? Do I do it on, you know, if I'm on EU, do I do it on EU? Do I do it on NA? If I do it on an NA, can I actually send mail items to the to that account? Well, yes, you can. And this is what I wanted to explain a little bit more clearly and show you and go through just the example of what I do when I log in first thing. So this isn't my main account. I have uh, three accounts and I'm going to log into the second account that I actually have. This is my EU account. So I'll log in and I've actually done all the dailies already. So you're not going to see that, but I'll, I'll show you what you'd actually get anyway, because I felt it'd be best to actually demonstrate this uh, and go through my process. So. We're going to log into Heart of the Mists just to get give you an idea, uh, and I'll also show you as well why I've done this, uh, what dailies I've done. It didn't really take me too long at all to do this today, uh, it really didn't. It took me around 10 minutes on each uh, account to do the dailies, because I just did the PvP dailies. Uh, they can be very, very quickly. There's a lot of uh, actual servers out there that uh, you know you can join some of the arenas uh, that you can actually go into that do dailies. They focus on dailies. They allow you to do them very, very quickly. So uh, I can show you right here. We, we have our PvP, and you can see in the game browser that you'd have like uh, blue wins, blue cap, red wins, blue wins. These are all uh, arenas that you can get your dailies. So you can see here I've logged in. First thing you'd normally get is your shaky chest, which is your daily. Today I've got three terms of knowledge handy for my accounts that I've got, you know, different characters that are very low level. But the next day is going to be 15 laurels. Now I can use those to actually buy T6 materials. These are very, very valuable and it's really, really actually worthwhile taking them. They're used for many different things. You could even, you know, go for ascended stuff, but you know that's limited. You want to think of things that you can actually use on your main account, or you can use uh, to generate gold for yourself. So you can see here, I actually earned two gold. Um, but here, most of this stuff is things that are related to this account. But again, uh, these are items, uh, different things here that you can send. Uh, and I wanted to show you something actually. So just to prove something, uh, what you can see here, just by judging by the um, you, the world versus world, you can see here I'm on EU. Um, I'm actually going to send these. I'm going to so I'm going to take these out. I'm going to mail these items. I'm going to mail these items to my account. So my guy, the mighty, that's my account. So there we go. I'm on EU. My other accounts on NA. So you'll see in a bit that I actually can send mails to myself. And uh, every now and then, when I get more and more gold, so you can see I've actually got four gold. Uh, two days ago, I transferred a load off to my other account. It's, you know, putting your up gold onto your main account so you can really, you know, do a lot of things. But again, if we actually go back to the dailies, let's actually have a look at what I did today. Uh, I had Daily Revenant and Mesmer, so that was this character here. Daily PvP points and they were the, uh, PvP reward earner. I got all three in one quick match and that was it done. Simple. And then what I do is I close Guild Wars 2 down. And you can see I've got my YouTube page up. I will then click on the shortcut on my desktop. And what we're going to do, we are going to load into my other account. So as we're going to load up a, we're going to load up our alternate account. You can see that uh, we're going to go in and we're going to try out our alternate account. I've got to remember the password for alternate these. You can actually create different desktop icons for your specific uh, different account. Those, it's a little bit more tricky. I would definitely recommend looking online to actually how you go about doing that. So this is my secondary NA account. I bought, got a secondary NA account. And again, you can see uh, it's pretty low rank. I've got one level 80 that I use. I showed you that actually on, the, on a previous video on one of the benefits of actually having Heart of Thorns. So just to get you guys in the, you know, an idea, obviously on my last account you saw I earned Tomes of Knowledge. Well, I also earned two gold, and that was kind of handy, and some PvP rewards, so I got some materials there. And now I'm going on to my next account, so, I mean, to be honest, it's one of the quickest ways. I actually got two gold from, like, less than five minutes. Not even a dungeon gives you that. 
Uh, again, so we're on our NA account. Again, if we actually look at, this is my secondary NA. So we got here crafting materials. Okay, not fantastic, but we'll be coming up to laurels in a little bit later. Uh, and again, if you actually look at the dailies that I did, I did Guardian and Elementalist because I didn't have a revenant on this account, so I was able to do that. And if we look at my inventory, again, you can see I've got 12 gold. Well, all right then, let's mail that out. Okay, so uh, let's go to mail and let's compose a mail. So here we go. Um, oh, we can't actually do this just yet because uh, we are, this is a brand new account. So when you actually eventually get that unlocked, you'll be send, able to send your stuff. I've got one more day, I think it is. One more day or two. I talk to the trading post. Usually that's a big indicator. Um, Oh, no, I think I can. Okay, cool. Uh, well, maybe that's just to send mail other things. It's kind of limited uh, for a particular time. But you can see here I've earned some PvP potions that I'm keeping, but I've also earned lots of materials that I can actually open up. Um, I'm wait to open those in a different character. And I've got things like armored scales, you know, uh, mystic coins, which are always very valuable. Again, if you want to check out the, va the value of a mystic coin, let's have it see how much that is. 77 silver right now. I mean, that is extremely expensive. Uh, very, very valuable. Best off, you know, utilizing your alternate accounts for that. So I do the dailies, I get two gold, I can mail that to my other account, and boom, I've got some more gold. So in, again, in a 15 minute period, you could have earned yourself four gold and a load of materials, which would probably work out to be the equivalent of five gold, which you can't get anywhere for that quick in any other game type. Uh, so let's log out again. We're gonna go and log on to our N my main NA account. Okay, so I'm logging into my NA account and you get all this jazz here. Um, now we've already, let, let's actually go and have a look at, uh, well, well first of all we should actually make sure that we got that mail because if you remember on my alternate account I sent myself a mail, this was on my EU account, this is uh, dead set proof of how many, uh, what's it called, linen scraps I sent myself and again it's actually making yourself gold. Now again I can go in and do the dailies and that gets me another two gold and some more stuff. So in a 25 to half an hour period you can earn yourself six to six, six to eight gold easily um not to mention a lot of other things so here we go we've got the mail and there we go so this is from my other account you can see here 26 29 scraps that's nice well what about that can i sell that uh what did that come out to if i sold that right now is is that going to get me some decent gold but again uh, if we actually have a look at the hero what i actually did today i actually earned myself three laurels as well so if I sold that, that's another gold. Again, all these mats can build up and up and up, and they're very, very handy at earning yourself gold. So with these alternate accounts, yes, they do cost cash. Yes, they do mean that could cost a little bit of effort to actually log into each one. But in the long term, you will actually profit substantially. So having three accounts, you can transfer between NA and EU. And I have to say, I've enjoyed the difference in PvP, particularly between EU and NA. So it's very interesting to try that out. But again, you're looking at things like the, the laurels that you can uh, give yourself some T6 mats. So again, we look at this character here. I spent a lot of T6 mats uh, with laurels recently, so I'm pretty low on laurels. But again, if I was saving up, you know, I've got 16, you can earn yourself a hell of a lot during the actual week. And when you get to that chest of loyalty, you get those, you know, you can have that choice personally go for the laurels. There is also an added benefit for having multiple accounts, and that is for things that are time locked. Things like raids, for example, if you decide to raid on multiple accounts, that's going to take some work, but I know, but you can get multiple rewards from that. There is also something else, which is a thing that was back a few year, about a year ago, and this was the Black Lion Key Farm. Now, this is where you would get Black Lion Keys, and you would actually open up Black Lion Chests, and you could do this by doing the, the personal story at level 10. So if we actually, I believe it's in the boosts on the toys, I can't even remember where the keys are. Um, I think it's in, what is it, in style promotion, style. Uh, there we go, so we've got a black line key, here we go. You could actually earn one of these by doing the personal story level 10, and you could do this, and generally people would farm the human personal story because it was the quickest. It could take, you know, sort of around 20 odd minutes or so, and you could get like three an hour if you kept farming them. And the reason people went for them was because they would unlock black lion skins. And black lion skins are particularly useful. Uh, you would get these, the black lion claim ticket. So by getting keys, you could open chests, which would get you black lion ticket scraps. We could get you a black lion 
uh, claim ticket. And this would actually enable you to get uh, special Black Lion weapons. For example, like a Cavalier, which is right now on offer. And you could actually sell that for a decent price. Again, if we actually have a look at... Uh, we have skins here, we have uh, weapon skins. You'll notice that a lot of these weapon skins, we actually have a look at here. So a lot of these few, you know, Skelleri, you know, Leyline weapons, um, you know, you've got the Kaiser weapons, they were actually through from Winter's Day, but all these like Lovestruck weapons, these are all Black Line skins, and you can actually earn a lot of these by doing these Black Line tickets uh, from the key farms and then actually selling them for profit. This is kind of a, something that you can do with alternate accounts. You can actually create a alternate account and you can, you know, if you buy an alternate account, you then get a character, you level them up to level 10. It doesn't take too much effort. If you don't have Tomes of Knowledge, um, which I doubt many of you people will, then it's not too hard to actually farm that around, uh, you know, if you're doing a human a character around uh, Kryter. And then you can actually earn a Black Lion Key and you can do that once a week. And that's the thing, ArenaNet changed the rules where, which made the farm pretty redundant in the fact that you can only do it once a week. By having multiple accounts, you can now Black Lion farm. For example, I can do this three times a week. I can farm the uh, Black Lion, try and get the Black Lion key, or get the Black Lion key, and then actually delete that character and wait till next week before I create another level 10 character, or, you know, create a character to farm a black lion key so that's something else in which you can actually earn a decent amount of gold well that's just a, a quick example of how you can actually utilize your alternate accounts and how you actually do the dailies earn your gold very very quickly i mean there are other options you don't have to do pvp dailies uh, i just do them because i find them very very quick there are ways you can do world versus world you could do uh, jungle forager the vista uh, they're easily enough to do and then you know whatever I just find PvP very very quick because of these daily arenas and then we said we've got the NA I showed you the EU we also have dailies on NA mad dailies miss dailies there's lots of dailies so you can do them very very quickly I'd appreciate leaving your comments you know what, what are you guys that have alternate accounts uh, how best do you utilize them do you use a shortcut um, do you you know do things on a certain account that you don't do on your main account and if you're thinking about getting an EU account, uh, an alternate account, an EU or NA, uh, you know, it's definitely something you should consider. Or if you've not bought the game before and you want to upgrade, it's definitely something as well. There are some links in the description below. Click on them and you'll be able to see how quickly they are. Bear in mind I'm making this video when it is on sale, so please note that if you purchase this, if you're watching this video, after the sale has ended, the prices may change. So... Be aware, get it while you can, it's a very, very worthwhile, it's why I have uh, multiple accounts, it can earn yourself a lot of gold in the long term, much more than it actually costs to buy an account, especially at this half price sale. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Raids, PvP, Legendary Weapons, How to Make Gold in Guild Wars 2, and Mike I Talk. Please use these links below to help support my channel and I'll keep producing content you enjoy.